I'm Ron, and we're back here again at the Golden Gate International Film Festival. I got my buddy over here, Jimmy. Tell us what your movie is. Uh, my movie's Trust in Love, and thank you so much for screening it here. I love yeah. you guys. Thank you for submitting it. Great movie. Um, I know my friend right next to me, she was like, this is an independent film. I'm like, yeah, these are all independent. You couldn't tell. So tell me what you got the inspiration of the film for. Well, it's an inspiration from my true life story. I, I wrote a screenplay about, you know, they say, write what you know. And I wrote about my life and uh, uh, being a music producer and uh, uh, having a, out, out of the sudden, living in Malibu, California, living the dream. You, you, now you're down you're like you're trying to make a next record with a rock band who can't, who lost the last three records. And your wife out of the blue says, I want a divorce, and your son says, wait, I think I might be gay, and you're going, oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, we got oh, a deal. Yeah, and, and the wife wants everything, and you're like, oh, gosh, yeah. As, a, as an artist myself, I, I understand the story, and um, just like the struggles of like trying to get another hit, and, and it's not working, and almost wanted to you know, hang it up. Right. Um, so you're saying a lot of that was... Ex personal experience. Very personal, yeah, yeah very personal. I mean, in, in the band, the band in the movie is a steelheart, uh, Mil Millie Mil Milajenko, and he's a, a rock star himself. I mean, he had hits in the 90s, and, and then the streaming stuff comes, and they lose you, and you know the, the, you know how it all works. You're, you're high, you're low, you're high, you're low. And he was the one who got us uh, Robbie Krieger to come in from the doors, and we used Robbie's studio in the movie, and Robbie you know, came in and did a little cameo uh, at 78 years old, so that was cool too, yeah. Yeah, one last question. I know uh, somebody asked you this already. I want you to explain it again, like the message you wanted to send from, from this movie. What, what's the message you wanted it, to everybody here? You know, it really is trusted love. It's like, it's just what it is. Look, I'm from Pennsylvania. Uh, I got, you know, I, I, my career, music career got me to L.A. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, where I'm from in Pennsylvania, if somebody's gay, they, they, you, you didn't know about it. I end up having a gay son and you're like, it's a wake up call. You're like, you know, but you know, I love him and you, you do what you, you know, you, you help him go through his path. And, uh, it's just, uh, you know, you, the message is, uh, you gotta love everybody, bro. That's Definitely. what it is, man. Definitely. That's what it is. You know, we all good proud. Of, you know, I'll be serious. I didn't know what gay was in Pennsylvania because I'm, I'm older. I got I, I graduated in 1980, mm -hmm. so it was like if there was a gay, you didn't even know that. You didn't even. We had like one black person in our yeah. whole fucking town. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it was a gay would be way over <laughs> at the top. Right. No, it's just. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. There's these cities like this in, in 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 Ohio, Pennsylvania, Indiana, all this, and it's like, and and it was like when my son told me he was like 15 and good looking kid looks like Johnny Depp handsome kid always f from kindergarten to high school always had all the girls around. all my buddies would go oh man he's got all the girls around him they all love him and he comes in he goes dad I think I might be gay and thank God the first thing I said was I love you you're my kid beautiful doesn't matter man beautiful and I and and I'll be honest that night I'm going really you know, because I just, I knew that was about me. It was about now I have to, and, and he, and, and, and even I went to uh, my therapist and he said, well, what's your concern, Jimmy? I go, I'm, I'm concerned that he's going to have a tougher life mm. than me. Yeah. And he goes, you're right. But, you know, as long as you love him, as long as you're there for him. You know, I was a state champion wrestler in Pennsylvania, so I was a tough kid. I got brought up with all the whites and boys and wrestling and right. being tough. And it's like, now you have a gay kid. And I was like, and I was I love this kid. Yeah. It was like, it's like, what do I do? And he goes, you just, you, 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 you listen, you be there, you, mm -hmm. you're there for him. Yeah. So I wanted to write a movie about it. <laughs> it's a long story. Gonna... And I was stupid enough to spend my own money on the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got two nominations for it, so. You know, you did something right, and you did something right with your son. You know, it's a beautiful thing that, you know, first thing you said was, I love him. And that's, that's probably all the son wants to know, I know, coming from a father and stuff, you know. Um, so, yeah, good luck to Jimmy and his movie, and we'll see you guys later on. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Thank you.